Hello YouTube, Internet Bling back again with the latest video case study in this new store that I'm helping to run. Alright, uh, so progress through August, mid-August right now, so that's Sunday the 14th, and what's happened in the last month with the store is new banking is all sorted out, there's no hassles now, we are US incorporated and can move on taking our money that way. The new payment processes as well finally got warmed up this month. Uh, I mentioned in the last video we got a new PayPal account, so we couldn't spin money through that as fast as we would have liked. This takes time, it's a new account, so they need to see a certain amount of money being, I guess, honestly paid through it or whatever, and we're an honest business, so there's no issues there. But when a certain amount of money goes through the account and they see that any tickets are being answered promptly, right when you kind of treat the account in a positive way they will slowly begin to release this uh, hold of monies that they put on new accounts when you start to scale quite a lot and the amount of money instantly becomes higher right they'll um sort of keep an eye on accounts like that until you can prove yourself to them anyway that's happened so we can scale back up now we can push back up if and when we need to. Obviously we need to, but I mean when is not quite yet. We've also been able to start scaling two other products on top of the winner. These are ones we knew had legs, we could see that from testing, and we just got a thousand of each product last week. So we've been slowly scaling up ads for those as well. Uh, the results are very promising, you know, so we can start to scale these two a bit more aggressively quite soon. On top of that, our winner, the one we've moved, I think 13,000 plus units of it now, but we found a top quality supplier of this winner and theirs just looks so much better than any of the others that we've had. We've sold thousands of these and not until we got a sample box and then a thousand box of this new supplier, only then did we realize what a, a high quality version of this product looks like. So we have them at the right price there now. We know that they can supply us with as many as we want. And they also do branding as well. So there's a possible chance we're gonna brand it quite soon as well. It's, I mean, what is this winner? I'm not gonna tell you, but um, it's a product that you will have seen all over the internet, okay? It's everywhere, it's pretty cheap. You know, it's just, if you saw a picture of it, you go, oh yeah, that, you know, you just know it. So they are everywhere. They're all over Amazon and eBay and Etsy and they're just everywhere. You can buy them from high street shops. <laughs> <You know? laughs> to get ours branded would be quite a good idea and possibly make us stand out a bit more. So we're thinking of that. All right, next we have got a few hundred sample orders of products that we think are going to perform well in Q4. They're on the way. We kind of picked a few that we want to try. We're going to order the hundred of each product and then run a few ads, see how things work out, see if they've got potential to scale them up. And then still, I'll talk about them when I get into Shopify stats, but Still, you know, after all, there's still some teething problems being ironed out here and there. Still working out a few processes. There's, you know, a lot of stuff to do when you're running this kind of operation. Also, there's been a small Facebook algorithm update, which caused numbers to go whoop a little bit as well. And I'll talk about that more. But yeah, so stats today, 1831. Let's update this. Yeah, 18.31, it's been this month, you can see we started to go up, scale a little bit, Ooh, yeah, it's okay here, and then there was this little, what I think might have been an algorithm update, but as basically hiccup for a bit, we had to reduce spend temporarily for a couple of days here, and then yesterday, Saturday the 13th, CPC really started to improve again. So we've begun to scale back up. And if we look, I just want to say past this kind of, it's not a milestone, but at some point, uh, we started this store on April the 12th and just a few days back was exactly four months since we started. 
so April the 12th to August the 12th and we're currently 215k total in income we had this scale up here and then we had to make a load of changes here and then you can see roughly from this bit of the chart here we're just starting to scale it up again and over the next couple of weeks we will start to spend more money and take income back up to where it was here sort of may june time and if i have my way anyway we're going to go past that and i'd like to see 10k a day on this i think it'll be easily done we just need to line everything up like have a lot of stock in place have the ads ready to go have everything there there's a lot to think about at that level but we will get to that point in the next few months i hope Anyway, after all of that, we, if you just go back to this month, we've made just about well, 29K. It's two weeks into August. And I wanted to talk as well about Facebook ads. Okay, here the, uh, is our ads manager. 12 campaigns on, the campaign names will be blurred out. My apologies for that. My point is here I wanted to show is we've got our main spent over the month we also have purchases conversion value which is what you know what should be coming in on your store these numbers now are so wildly inaccurate since we lost the ability to uh, have ios stats as well so that's iphones ipads ipod touches yeah yeah okay we don't get that data anymore so if you were to just read the stats here it would be we've spent just over 15k this month on ads but we've only made 13.8 if we go to shopify you can see we've actually made just over 29k this month that's actual money so it's about 2x right ad spend to income on the store which while it's not amazing it puts you in a position where you can scale up hard and fast right so you know your numbers work you know the metrics work you can look at money in money out are we good to go can we push ads up just a quick point there just a little as update as well so these two top campaigns here i just turned these on a few days back and they are lookalikes we're just starting to move into lookalike audiences because for the winner we have a lot of customer data now loads so it's in a really good place to start experimenting with lookalike audiences to attract this whole other portion of customers that you might not know about i've expanded retargeting as well started to spend more money on retargeting and try other ways of retargeting that's what's been happening with that and then there's also a couple of new ad sets for the two new products that we're pushing reduced spend at the moment due to this algorithm update over the weekend that looks like it's out of the way now so we can crack back on starting next week tomorrow yeah, next I went up and spent another week in Liverpool this month, just back from there on Friday. Things are feeling very exciting up there right now. They're about to expand and rent a larger warehouse than the one we're in, which is really cool. You know, we've got boxes of products stacked up to the roof in various different places and we just need to move all the product and all the fulfillment into a natural warehouse. So. There's one just next door to where their warehouse is right now, so we should just be able to expand into that. Things are getting bigger and bigger here, you know. It's, <laughs> these guys move quick, right? They're, they don't mess about. So, yeah, it's very exciting to be up there, for sure, man. I'll, uh, I'll overlay some pictures here on the YouTube so you can see a little bit what it looks like now. And, um, yeah. You know, every morning was like, wow, we're moving all this product. And yeah, it was it was a good buzz being up there. Just some last bits of stuff. After trying out so many people from Fiverr and our mates, mates, you know, oh yeah, I know this guy who does video. After just trying out all these people and spending all this money, we've found a really amazing editor who really knows what he's on about. The ads he's pumping out just look phenomenal. They're head and shoulders above any drop shipping video that you might buy from Fiverr. It, it just looks pro and it, his, his approach is completely different to everything else that's out there. So really excited about this. We just took delivery of the first finished ad today and we're going to run that up and start sending traffic to it next week. be interesting to see how that 
outperforms for sure. All right, next we are waiting for new products to come in. I've built a ton of Clavio flows. I've just made hundreds of them and they're all there and they're all in operation. But it would be good to expand them and make them longer. So you keep hitting customers on a weekly basis with more mails, more products, more discount codes, more offers all the time. Okay, Waiting for new products to come in there. And also been thinking about Q4 email strategy as well. I just wanted to talk a bit about that. Q4 is literally six weeks away, okay? As of making this video, it's six weeks. That's not long, right? You need to be prepared, ready, everything in place. And over Q4, people tend to go a bit mad with how they spend. And as a result of that, you get heavy emails from retailers, any list you might be on. Everybody's pumping out emails all the time to persuade people to buy. I'd say you need to maybe get a bit more aggressive with your emails, the frequency that you're sending them out, etc. It, it will probably be a good thing to be a bit more aggressive. And obviously we need the products. If we look back to this earlier text here, we've got a few hundred orders on the way. We've got to test them. If we think they're going to work, then bang, all these need to get added into new flows for separate lists for these products, separate flows and broadcasts. You got to start pumping what you want to sell a lot of uh, in the next two, three months. I think that's going to be it for this video. It's not a lot else to go through. Not really. No, this is what changed in our ads manager over Thursday, late Thursday to Friday over that time. Cost per click skyrocketed, it went right up. Yeah, it was bad. And then this appeared here, these little like colored icons. I didn't have those until two days ago. So there was a little, if there wasn't an algorithm update, for sure there was a, an update to Facebook Ads Manager. Like for absolute sure that had happened. We will upspend again, add new campaigns starting next week, Monday. We're now halfway through August. So pushing through to September. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine.